All right, YouTube family, Gerald Greenlee, Clean and Green Lawn Service here in South Georgia. Uh, I'm doing something that pains me just a little bit, to be honest. Um, I just, this is my uh, old trailer. Excuse all the junk around my shop. Here's my backpack blower. Huh, what happened to my rack? Well, I'll tell you what happened. Brand new trailer. There you have it. Already putting holes in it. I'll be honest. I know here are my goats back there. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to show you all the junk around my house for you to see them. I hate to do this. Annie, what are you doing? Annie likes to talk to me. Me! Me! She is much louder than Billy. Billy's laid back. Annie is only quiet when you feed her. I know. I know, girl. I know. Life's rough for you. You've already ate twice today. Eat some sticks or something. Anyway, no, that's not animal cruelty. That's a goat. That's why they're in that pen is to clean it out. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm working on putting uh, my equipment defender backpack blower rack on there. By the way, I love this rack. Uh, I think this is the probably can't see under here good but i think this is what they consider the, the second model or something of it but it works really really good all right take just a second here to show you something um uh, there's the bolts under there i don't know if you can see them but that's really not what i want to show you this is what i want to show you all right organization is key now i admit my shop is in a wreck so i am preaching to the choir right now i just want to show you something the socket set right here that i knew i had in the midst of all of my woodworking and lawn care stuff and just all the different stuff that i do i just spent about 10 minutes looking for that now it's literally going to take me two minutes to put these bolts in but i've wasted 10 minutes doing that so uh if you're not organized, if you're like me and everything's junked up, just encourage you, get organized. Also, let me show you one more thing about this equipment defender right now. That swapping out there took uh, probably 15 minutes to swap it out from the old trailer to the new trailer but now the rack is already assembled that rack does take some time to assemble um but let me just show you something about that uh you're smarter than me and you probably won't do this but right here you have this holder for the blower tube okay on my other trailer by the time i ordered this i already had the trimmer racks on this side of the trailer and of course that's a the old trailer is a five by ten so there wasn't room to put the trimmer racks and the stick equipment on the same side now on here i'm gonna be able to do that but i wasn't able to do it on the other one please ignore those goats they're killing me but i had this tube you can't swap the direction of this tube mount in other words if you put it on the passenger side then this tube mount will be at the front and the wind will blow against this. And if you don't tighten this thing down really tight, the wind will blow it out and it'll fall off and it'll drag on the ground. So if you're putting an equipment defender, um, backpack blower holder on, you either want to put it on the driver's side or you just want to be aware that if you don't put it on the driver's side, that you need to get that clamp really tight that holds the tube or you need to put you some kind of bungee strap or something around it. So that's just a little... Uh, just a little tidbit there, a little mistake. Not necessarily a mistake that I made because as you can see on this old trailer, uh, my racks are on this side and I really need to mount it over the fender. Actually, you can see a block of wood there that I put on top of my fender to make a nice flat spot here. But because my stick equipment was in the way, I couldn't put it there. So uh, just something to watch out for. Now, if you had a, if you got a 12 foot trailer, you might be able to put it and the equipment on the same side. Uh, this is a this is a five by ten. Definitely, if you got a fourteen, depending on where the axle is located, you could probably do it. But on this trailer, I'm going to have 
I probably got 10 foot uh, because this is a 16 foot long I probably got a good 10 foot uh, actually I got probably 12 foot between the front of the trailer and uh, the backpack blower rack so anyway I just thought I'd give you that little tidbit of information hope all of you are having a great day uh, appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to the channel like drop me a comment thanks and God bless